Hello Pisces. This is your reading for December 15th through the 31st. My name is Renee and uh, welcome to my channel. If you're returning, thank you, thank you, thank you for your support. I appreciate you. Okay. If my readings resonate, please like and subscribe, hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads, and make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. Okay, Pisces, what do we have for Pisces? Instinct. Okay, so yeah, I feel like you could be following your intuition you're very you know Pisces is very intuitive anyway and I you also have enlightenment so I feel like whatever you're working on uh, Pisces I feel like you are gaining a lot of wisdom from the situation uh, but I think spirit is letting you know to follow your instincts to become more enlightened to find out certain information that you're looking for. Follow your instincts. Okay. And you have the land in between. Okay. So I feel like uh, right now you could be caught between a rock and a hard place, Pisces. I feel like you are kind of in this energy where you're not making any decisions. You're kind of in between thoughts. Uh, but you need to take a deep breath. Um, take some time to think about your situation. What is it that has you in a deadlock? What has you not wanting to make a choice? What do you need to follow your instincts about? Hmm. Okay. We have affirmation for healing the heart. Okay, you may be going through some kind of heartbreak or disappointment at the moment, Pisces. There's something that you're healing from. And you also have change and progress. So yeah, I feel like whatever this is, I feel like you're changing your direction. Hmm. What do we have for Pisces on December 15th through the 31st? What spirit message do we have for Pisces? What does Pisces need to know? The black bear, the guardian. Okay. Gentle and wise protector, give me your confidence and power. Help me protect the ones I love. Awaken my intuition and guide me. Yeah, so I feel like you're wanting some sort of protection. You want some sort of guidance and um, intuitive information. Uh, you also have Leo energy on the bottom. So I feel like Spirit is letting you know that you are stronger than you believe. You have strength, Pisces, higher calling. You have within you all the courage you need. Let go of the past and reclaim your majesty. You will find success and contentment with those by your side. Make noble choices for your life and your tribe. So it could be that you're making choices not only for yourself, but for people around you as well. So you could be taking care of a family. You could have children. Um, that you are responsible for. Um, but I feel like, you know, there's a lot on your back at the moment, Pisces. I feel like you're really asking for protection and guidance. Okay, you have Francesca. What do you desire right now? Visualize it and it will come about. Negativity will block your progress. Okay, at the bottom you have Oceana. Take action 
you're in touch with your truth in this situation and you need to trust your guts and lovingly assert yourself. Yeah, use your intuition, Pisces. You usually have a very strong intuition. Um, Pisces is the most intuitive of the signs. So I feel like using your intuition, following your gut instinct is going to help you through this situation. Whatever this is. Let's get some tarot for Pisces. Um, let's get some tarot for Pisces for December 15th through the 31st. What does Tarot want to tell Pisces? First out, we have the Knight of Swords. Okay. So it could be that you're moving in a direction. I feel like you're moving maybe a little too hasty. Um, maybe you're too quick to judge. You also have the Hermit card. Hmm. You know what I think this is? Okay. The Knight of Swords and the Hermit. So I think whatever the situation is, I feel like resolve is going to come swiftly. This issue is going to be resolved. Hmm. Yes, you have the Empress energy as well. So, yeah, whatever the situation is, it's going to be resolved. You found the wisdom. Um, you've been enlightened by some sort of situation. It could be this Empress energy. Uh, this could be someone around you who is helping you find the answers. Someone who is very thoughtful and very fruitful. Uh, in this situation. This could be also someone who's a good parent. This could be your energy, even though it's not a Pisces. This could be your energy. Um, but I'm feeling like with the situation, you are going to gain your balance back. I feel like you're going to be able to come to any decisions that you are needing to make. You're finding your balance I feel like you found, finally found control of the situation. Yeah, with the King of Swords, the answers that you needed are coming to you or have came to you. And now it's helping you gain your balance back. This could also be a um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius who's coming towards you too. But I feel like this energy is seeing you through your situation. It's helping you with the answers that you need. And definitely. And these answers that you needed ended this situation. There's going to be a total end to this situation that you were so worried about. That's that transformation and change that you needed. Okay, you have the Seven of Wands. Hmm. And the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, so this could have been a money uh, matter that you were having. And I feel like some kind of abundance, some kind of information is coming to you that's actually... Um, like a protector for you. You also have the Seven of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So I feel like whatever this was, it was worth your effort. It was worth your uh, putting your energy into this situation because obviously it's making you very fruitful. And now I believe with the Seven of Wands, I believe that this is you um, taking action on the situation. This is you acting upon some kind of decisions that you finally had to make. Some kind of aha moment. Some kind of um, crossroads that you were going through. But these are. this is you taking your action. And this is your return. 
your return has come forward as good health, um, loving family, abundance. This could also be your finances increasing. This could be a job that you were very persistent about trying to obtain. But I feel like it's pushing you forward into the future. I feel like your ships are coming in and you were just waiting for this answer to come about. You were patiently waiting on this situation, but I feel like it's coming through for you, um, Pisces. And I feel like it's going to be a very needed, very anticipated change. What else do we have for Pisces? Yeah, the Six of Pentacles. So yeah, this is something that you've given a lot of energy to. This is something that... You know, you're gaining your return on and you're showing up. Yes, Pisces, you're showing up. The high priestess, this is your energy. Um, so I feel like you are trusting yourself in this situation. You're gaining your power. You're solving your mysteries. And the fool. So yes. After this ending with this death card, after this ending, you have this new journey that you'll be going on. You'll be following this new journey, this new beginning, taking new risks. Um, wow. Okay. What else do we have for Pisces? Yeah, you're gaining a lot of success, Pisces. You have the Six of Wands. So I feel like all eyes are on Pisces. I feel like you are being recognized. But I feel like you're not even noticing that these people are recognizing you. Um, <laughs> you're not even turning your head. You're not even noticing that. You know, you're being rewarded for the situation. Your head is too far up in the clouds. But this is a wonderful change. This is your good forward, your good fortunes coming forward for you. Wonderful, wonderful energy for you, Pisces. Now, it does start out a little, uh, a little questionable, but it gets better. Okay, you have the Two of Pentacles on the bottom. So what you don't expect is you're gaining balance in this situation. You are making good choices. And you may have a few different options that you can take in order to better your situation. But I feel like you are making good choices at the moment, Pisces. I feel like you're on the right track. Okay. What is the final outcome for Pisces? What can Pisces expect as a final outcome for December 15th through the 31st? Okay, I feel like you're going to have the end of your worries. The end of your worries. Yeah, and you'll definitely be moving away from the situation i feel like you're leaving the situation behind because you've planted your seed you watched something grow and now that thing that's growing is now being fruitful it's now bearing fruit for you it could also be your abundance that's coming through yeah definitely now, if you're not open to love, Pisces, there may be love coming through. I don't see a whole lot of love in your reading, but it says that, you know, you may have a new beginning for love as well. So stay on the lookout for that. Be attentive. Be uh, aware that that can be coming to you as well. You may have love. Definitely. Okay. Okay. And you have the Ten of Pentacles. So this is your wealth. This is your family. This is your contentment. Um, like I said, this also may be love that's coming through for you as well. So, yeah, be on the lookout for that. At the bottom, you are a boss, Pisces. 
you are the emperor you are powerful you are you know taking action being very assertive uh, you're being a leader you're leading yourself and others into a new um, venture okay let's get some manifestation cards let's see what Pisces is manifesting at the moment what are you manifesting Pisces December 15th through the 31st what are you manifesting okay full moon in Gemini embrace the flow of life yeah, in true Pisces nature, just go with the flow. Go with the flow. Use your intuition. Embrace life. Full moon in Aquarius. Be real. Yeah, be true to yourself, Pisces. Always be assertive. Grow and be true to yourself and new moon in gemini it may be a gemini coming in your life you have a lot of gemini here um but think it through make your plans take action be assertive you have new moon in virgo trust all will be well exactly yeah it's it's all gonna work out and yes, Pisces, yes, first quarter moon in Aquarius, trust the universe, be instinctive, use your intuition, be assertive, trust the universe. Wow, great energy. Let's get some allergy cards for Pisces. What is coming in for Pisces, please? December 15th through the 31st. What's coming in for Pisces? December 15th the 31st. Adjustments are required. Yeah. And I think that we saw that with these cards that were coming out. Um, third quarter moon. So yeah, you, you may have some obstacles that still come your way. They may, there may be some um, unseen problems that are coming through. Um, the moon energy is what I'm feeling with that. Adjustments are required. But I feel like it's nothing that you can't overcome, Pisces. Exactly. Work through your fears. New moon in Scorpio. Work through your fears and insecurities. And look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius. And one more card. What do we have for Pisces? Your dreams need a practical plan. Yeah, so plan out what, ex what it is that you exactly want to do, Pisces. Make your plan. Be assertive. Take action. Um, and you will be successful. You're a Pisces. Um, full moon in Taurus. Okay, and what you don't see on the bottom? All right, Pisces. Believe in the impossible. Yes. Anything is possible with Pisces. What does the universe have to say for Pisces? The mighty, mighty Pisces. Do you remember that movie? A Fish That Saved Pittsburgh? Yeah, I'm kind of showing my age here. But, um, yeah, that's a good movie. I remember that song, Mighty, Mighty Pisces. Okay. Energy flows where my intentions goes. Set your intention. Be assertive. Manifest. I let go of the shadow of the past by seeing someone for the first time with the eyes of love. Yeah, so the, uh, it, it may be someone new coming in. This also may be someone um, from your past that's coming in that this new passion will be reignited because you're seeing someone for the first time um, with the eyes of love. My fearless freedom lights up the world. Yes, Pisces, be fearless. <clears throat> and 
I do whatever it takes to get closer to consciousness. And what you don't see on the bottom, hope is the conduit for miracles. Yes. Beautiful energy. Now, what does Pisces need to do in order to overcome any challenges or obstacles that they face in December? What does Pisces need to do? Service. I feel good when I can help others. Yeah, and I feel like you do that already, Pisces. I feel like that you're very, you're a very helpful spirit. I feel like you're very generous. Um, you're willing to help others in their time of need. So yeah, being of service to other people, that would definitely um, help you through any tough times. Change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. Yes, taking action at this time. Growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. Yeah, we saw that here as well. So yeah, I do whatever it takes to get closer to my consciousness. So yeah, I, I feel like, you know, just being aware of your conscious thinking, your thoughts, um, true meditation, grounding yourself. That's all very helpful for situations, Pisces. And having patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. And what you don't see on the bottom, I possess the gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. Self-esteem. Yes, have your confidence. Be strong. Be assertive. Okay, Pisces. This is your reading for December 15th through the 31st. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. And Pisces, happy December. Many blessings to you. Love and light.